Good morning everyone. Kim with Kim and Perry or perryandkim.com. You can use either domain because I bought them both. Everybody's been asking about Be Cool and their new bulk actions. You can do your repricing at all your new SKUs in the front. You don't have to touch a flat file or a spreadsheet or whatever you call those scary things with all the numbers. So if you're scared of them, you don't like them, you can still use Be Cool and you can do handle a lot of listings all at once. I'm going to show you. It's really easy. So in your listings, you're going to go to Bulk Actions, green button at the top there, Set Min Max Price and Rule. For this to work, you want to already have it integrated with Inventory Lab. So it brought over your cost and it um, added your rule. We'll go, we'll back up after we're done and make sure, and I'll show you how to set that up too. But in here, go to um, All Listings Missing Min Max Price and Rule. And as you can see, I've got a thousand of them. This is all stuff that we listed in the last few days. Some of it will already have the price brought over, some of it will not. So when I do this, I'll see some of the stuff fail, which is fine because I'll catch it in the next pass. Turn on the setting for min price, and I like to use ROI 20%. You can do it however you want, but this is what we do turn on the max price and we want ours to be at our price plus 50 percent we like the default right there so when we set our prices we go for the um, the buy box the fba lowest price or the buy box or the msrp whatever is is higher of those and then we will set our min and max like you saw and after that we let the repricer take over I'm going to tell it to set my rule to get buy box, which is the one that we use for pretty much everything, and save. And now, in the background, it's going to take a little while, it's going to calculate min based on ROI on all my new listings that have already imported the price, or the cost of goods. I can close this, and if I want to come back later and check on it, I'll just act like I'm going to do it again and I will see it right down here. It's still pending, it hasn't even started yet, and again, it's gonna take a little while. When it's done, I will be able to see how many listings were successfully updated. I'll be able to see how many failed, which again is usually because it just hasn't synced up the cogs from Inventory Lab yet. And I'll be able to download a report showing me exactly which ones um, failed. So that'll let me troubleshoot just in case there's anything else going on. Now in order for this to work, we already had it set up to do the inventory lab integration. And there's a couple different options there. Um, you can go with your highest cost, your average cost, or your current cost. We have it bring in the current cost for each one. Um, do a little reading and talk to your business partner and figure out which is the best fit for you. Status success, that means that we already have this set up and it's working as expected. You also have to enable this in Inventory Lab and it's just about this easy too. Basically, you're just giving them each permission to talk to each other. Once you do that, it'll sync up every 24 or 48 hours or so. So after you list your items in Inventory Lab, expect it to take a day or two before you're able to go in and set your mins and maxes which should be plenty of time to get them live before they hit the Amazon warehouse, right? Not a problem that there's a little bit of a delay and you saw how fast it was. It's like one minute or less and very easy to hand off to somebody else if you trust them to do it right. Just one word of warning. When you come over here, one time I did this and I did this and do you know what I missed right here? And then I hit the save button. I forgot to switch it to ROI. And the difference is it worked a whole lot faster and it didn't set my prices exactly where I wanted them. So make sure you read the options. Make sure you do it right every time. Take your time. Don't get sloppy. Don't try to do it while you're talking to somebody else because that's when you probably make a mistake. At least that's how it works for me. Okay, have fun with this. Now you know how to do actual ROI based mins, maxes, however you want them. You can do them in bulk. You don't have to look at or open a spreadsheet and you don't have to use that clunky estimated formula that I was using for the last couple of years and shared with a lot of you and you probably struggled through it too and it was estimated instead of accurate because this one actually does the calculation are we all celebrating yes <laughs> goodbye have a great day go set all your mins and maxes and make sure be cool is working for you